So what I started looking at is I started looking at the chemical stuff as a self-defense, what's going to be realistic, and being able to do it once the guy has you. Okay, once he gets a hold of you like this, and he does this, that was headlock, but this is too late. This is the end of headlock. Okay, that's exactly what it is. If I got a headlock here and I do this, and then Brad has time to go down and do his technique, that'll work. Okay, the problem that you have is this is what's going to happen. And I'm here like this, and I'm doing this. All right, stand back up. You got Japanese string hold. This is how Japanese string hold works. All right, this is theory. This is practice. That's practice. All right. Now, I might not want to do it that way. I might do this. Here. All right, I can take it down either way. Back is easy. If I grab a heavy string hold, I do this, and I fall back. But I might not know what's behind me, so I. Realistic, I do this, he steps forward to keep his balance, and then I do this. This is easy for me to do this. That's Japanese stranglehold. That's where A, B, and C should came in. All right? Same thing for rise and elbow. Rise and elbow. From behind, he steps, and he does his technique, and it's over. Rise and elbow, this, I'm pulling him down like this. Coming up on him. Alright, or again, forward and backwards. Or worst case, I do this, he steps around, takes me over, and he uses this. Because he took me over, I didn't let go. And that's practice. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on some of the techniques, practice, instead of just theory. And I came up with my own little slogan. Where Kepo Stream takes reality, where reality meets actuality. Okay, reality being theory and actually actuality being practice. So we're going to start with headlock. Okay, so let's get here with everybody. Everybody need a partner. Somebody you to work with? All right.